so hello friends in our previous class we had seen that when we have multiple streams and when we plot composite curves for multiple streams we can find out the delta t minimum and corresponding uh, hot and cold utility delta t minimum you know is a key factor in designing heat exchanger network or in identifying the targets for energy as i have shown you here in this diagram right in you know diagram 1 delta t minimum is less and delta t minimum in diagram 2 is more now the impact of delta t minimum means as, as you decrease delta t minimum naturally the process to process energy exchange would be more and your energy requirement would go down as you can see from the width of this columns which are shown for utility so as you increase delta t minimum utility also increases however increasing delta t minimum will impact the area of exchanger naturally it will decrease the area of exchanger and hence by all you know practical means the capital cost of the network would go down though uh, you know uh, with increasing delta t minimum q would decrease and it will have an impact on area but that will not be as uh, you know high as it it no it it uh, you know nullifies the impact of increase in area of the exchanger so as you increase delta t minimum your energy requirement would also you uh, will go up but your capital will go down so there is a contradiction how do we decide delta t minimum so to decide delta t minimum you have to you know find out the value of energy and capital costing for various delta t minimums and for every delta t minimum you find out the total costing and once you find the total costing you can you know easily identify which delta t minimum works well so this is known as super targeting we'll see this you know as we proceed further <clears throat> now the point where you have delta t minimum is known as a pinch point or a pinch diagram uh, sorry or a pinch Uh, for any given heat exchanger network so pinch is is nothing but something which you know gives you a kind of you know minimum temperature difference between hot and cold process stream when you know you have the diagram which changes its slope which is shown here by the word king you know the delta t minimum can occur anywhere in the interchange region and not just at one end if if the you know if your uh, if your diagram is like you know say if there is only one if there is only one stream right then what would happen their slope would be like this and there will be only one place where your delta t minimum would be arriving for all other values the t uh, difference would be other than delta t minimum but when you have multiple streams right when you are dealing with multiple st streams what happens is that the slope of the stream keeps on changing and since slope of the stream keeps on changing you can't you, you know the delta t minimum can occur at any you know one not necessarily that it will happen at one end so this is the delta t minimum right where you have a minimum difference between hot and cold stream remaining every stage your delta t minimum is more so that is what we mean that by king nature we say that uh, you know uh, your uh, delta t minimum or pinch can occur at any place in the diagram so pinch may occur anywhere in the uh, diagram for a given value of delta t minimum the utility quantities predicted are the minimum required to solve the heat equilibrium pinch so once you have identified that there is a pinch on one side you will find a minimum hot utility requirement on the other side you will find minimum cold utility requirements delta t minimum is generally observed only at one point between hot and cold composite curves this is in general this is called as a heat recovery pinch it is possible to design a network which uses the minimum utility requirements where only the heat exchanger at pinch need to operate at a delta t value down to delta t minimum what does it mean that the exchanger 
which you know exchange is heat between the streams which are at pinch temperature we'll see what is a pinch temperature as we proceed further but the exchangers which are working with the process stream which are at pinch temperature only will have delta t minimum all other exchangers will have a temperature difference which will be more than delta t minimum so if your delta t minimum is 10 in an entire network there will be only one exchanger which deals with the streams which are you know uh, falling at a pinch will have 10 rest all the delta t minimum will be more than 10 degrees celsius for the super targeting as we uh, you know discussed in the previous uh, you know slide that, that you change delta t minimum and find total cost then a good initial guess is that no individual heat exchanger has a temperature difference smaller than delta t minimum it means that you can violate the rule of delta t minimum see delta t minimum is a rule imposed by an engineer so theoretically it could be any value wherein the difference is positive right so what would be that positive difference is what you will have to decide so it could be 5 degree 6 degree 8 degree 10 degrees so you decide 10 degree but then later on if you think while you design network that one of some of the exchanges can go below even delta t minimum 10 you are free to do that but for the design purpose right we will strictly follow delta t minimum and then once the design is done we can relax that constraint later on and we can do the uh, you know we can we can go with delta t minimum which is less than assigned value but that we'll see as we proceed further <coughs> so till now what we were doing was we were plotting the you know uh, composite curves for uh, multiple column multiple streams uh, you know hot and cold streams and we were you know trying to adjust them so that delta t minimum is obtained at some specific value and we we, we you know used to get the energy targets but the problem is with this composite curve is that you know you need to do some trial and error you need to be very particular about this graphical method you have to be very clear right so the method is a bit clumsy and time consuming it requires trial and error approach because we don't specify delta t minimum first we specify the location of the curve now curve can be you know uh, moved horizontally to you know get some value of delta t minimum but how much we need to do that it all requires kind of you know a tiresome and lengthy approach as against that if we can convert everything which we have studied conceptually into mathematics and convert it into a simple algebra i think that would be one of the best thing if we can do for that and you know that happened somewhere <clears throat> in 1978 where linoff and flower came up with an approach known as problem table algorithm wherein all the actual temperatures were converted to some internal interval temperatures carry out the heat balance within each temperature interval and supply heat deficit to required temperature interval. So we'll see this as we proceed further. It's a very simple arithmetic approach which was proposed by Linoff and Flower. And this is the paper which, if you are interested, you can refer to and you can find the detailed work on problem table algorithm. We'll go through the you know simple uh, steps which are required for problem table algorithm. However, in composite curves, enthalpy balance intervals were set up based on supply and target temperatures for hot and cold streams. So what we did is, for every target, we, we like for every interval, we calculated enthalpy uh, uh, using addition of the slopes of various streams and we find the enthalpy. Similarly, one can construct such intervals for both hot and cold stream together. You know, <clears throat> in, in the composite curve, we did it separately. Here, what we'll do is, we'll, we'll add all the heat capacity for hot streams and out of that we'll subtract all the heat capacities for all the cold stream existing within a temperature you know interval and thereby we get an overall energy balance within the uh, given temperature interval the only modification required here is to ensure that within every interval hot stream and cold stream must be you know away from each other to delta t minimum extent that means the delta t minimum has to be maintained it can be more than given or set delta t minimum but it could not be it should not be less than that right so here other other difference is that we specify delta t minimum value of front we say that delta t minimum is 10 and accordingly we decide our further course of action so uh, we need to make a shifting of the temperature how do we shift the temperature for shifting the temperature we have to you know just uh, do delta t minimum by 2 subtract it from the supply and target temperatures from hot stream making them colder and add delta t minimum by 2 to cold stream making them hotter so for every interval 
the shifted temperature will make sure that hot streams are really hotter than the cold stream by minimum delta t right so you know what happens actually is say for example i have a stream which runs from So within each shifted interval, the hot streams are in reality hotter than the cold stream by delta T minimum by delta T minimum. Shifting the curves vertically does not alter the horizontal overlap between the curves. So what I, what do I mean by that? See, basically, when you have T and H, right? This is a temperature interval, say for example, and I have a stream which is going like this now we know that if i shift it horizontally it doesn't make any difference as long as the delta h values are same and delta t values are same in a similar way if i shift it vertically just like this right then also if i draw a parallel line that as long as the delta h values are same i am not impacting the delta h value yes the temperature is shifted but the delta h value are not changing so shifting the curves vertically does not alter the horizontal overlap between the curves now if i do it for every stream the enthalpy associated with the stream is not getting impacted and hence i can shift it upward just like we were shifting you know vertically sorry horizontally we can shift it vertically as well right so we can then uh, you know shift it vertically the shift simply removes the problem of ensuring temperature feasibility within a temperature interval so this will make sure that every time you know uh, the streams are minimum away from each other by delta t minimum value so you know this is uh, with this base i think uh, when we meet uh, next time we'll talk about uh, how to implement problem table algorithm to a given uh, multiple stream problem